Good morning, everyone. We are here at Riley's Farm and we're going to go exploring today. Probably pick some apples, maybe make some cider, try some blacksmithing. Who knows? I, for one, am hoping to pick blackberries because I love blackberries. But there's apples, there's pears, there's all sorts of things to enjoy here. So come along with us and we will show you around. There is so much more to Riley's Farm than we could have ever expected. We thought we were going to an apple farm. Let's just say there is 10 times more there than we realized. We thought we'd start off by visiting the general store where you can pick up all sorts of fun things. Of course, apple cider and lots and lots of other fun things like pies, jams, jellies, flowers. My one regret is that I did not pick up that cute little mug next time for sure. But I did get to try the fresh pressed apple cider and it was so refreshing. One of the highlights of our day was visiting the fields full of zinnias and there wasn't a single flower that we could photograph without a bee in it. They were literally everywhere. This hummingbird hawk moth had us so intrigued we had to do our research right away. This little guy, as you can see, was having an absolute feast. As you can see, this entire farm is surrounded by majestic mountains. It blows my mind that a flower like this can grow into a pumpkin like that. We are surrounded here by mountains and fields, pumpkins, back there's barley, behind them, sunflowers, and behind them, zinnias, and behind them, blackberries. So what do you think of this place, Dave? Way bigger than I thought it was gonna be. Mm. Way more extensive. This must have taken generations to put together. Yeah. And then it was time to try our hand at the apple press. Let's just say it is a whole lot harder than it looks. Laundry, old time style. There's also a pen with goats who spent all their time flicking away the flies. And now we enter the best part of the day. We drove up to the log cabin home of Dennis Riley, who is the founder of this place. He invited us into his home to tell us his story. I'm Dennis Riley. This is my home, and uh, we've lived up here since 1979. And we grow apples, and we open our orchards to the public. When, when my wife and I married, uh, we moved to Monrovia. I just could see the handwriting on the wall and thought, this is just going to become unlivable. So we just got a wild hair and just said, we're going to move, become apple farmers. My wife said, why don't we do you pick? Mm -hmm. So we set up a shed down there, hastily built pole shed. And we, um, we didn't even have bags. We said, you got to bring your own bags. It just grew and grew and grew. And then Sharon said, why don't we do school tours? I get a lot of teachers mm. asking me for school tours. Mm -hmm. So we joined um, CHIA, which is Christian Home Educators mm -hmm. Association. Mm. And we went down there and I built a little cabin in the showroom, you know, just a little mock-up cabin. And every year we went back there for years and years and years. Our tour was, we called it a living history tour. Mm -hmm. So kids would come in, they would gather the windfall apples in the morning, take them down to the cider press, wash them, uh, grind them, squeeze out the juice, and then we'd go up to the frontier cabin, the little frontier cabin we have up here, and we'd do all the things that a typical family would do in about a week's time. We'd do a little bit, we'd build a fire, We'd boil the water for the, the washing, and we'd wash the clothes in an old tub, hang them on, hang the clothes on the line, and we would tend the garden or plant the garden, depending what uh, season it was. 
And we dipped candles, we made hoe cakes, made soap. Ah, I can't believe the things we did. I even had a printing press and I would let them set the type. We print out a little memento about their school coming to the farm. I had done square dancing down in Pasadena um, at a place called the Handlebar Saloon. And they had a dark night, so they let us do a square dance once a month. One night, and I hired a caller to come in and call. And one night he was drunk. Oh dear. <laughs> and couldn't call. So my wife said, guess who the caller is tonight? You, Dennis. I've been calling ever since. So the music and the living history, the hands-on kind of tours is what we've done. So all my kids in one way or another are part of a business model up here. Mm -hmm. And they're raising their grandkids to take over now. Mm -hmm. so, That's so cool. And we have lots of fun. We make a lot of music. We do square dancing. I think we've done uh, over 30 years. We've done an annual uh, autumn hoedown for them. Yeah. I also play the banjo, the five string banjo oh, and guitar. Very cool. Tell us about the ball. Devin and I started doing that many, many years ago. We called it uh, the, the Courier and Ives event. And that's the one that you guys like to go to? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like to dress up. Yeah. People dress up? How do they dress up? Oh, they, you should see it. dresses with the hoops and. Kind of think Dickensian. coats. That works. But people can come if they don't dress up, right? Oh, yeah. I wrote, wrote a little play. Uh, based loosely on a Christmas carol, the audience would become the dancers. The people became the carolers. I managed Los Rios in 1996. I worked there one year, and the year we were there, we started doing the UPIC mm. business. They had never done UPIC before, so we did chestnut UPIC and apple UPIC. I bought a big copper kettle, and we did an apple butter festival there too. At Wilshire's, there's an amazing humidor and its own smoking patio outside. We got to meet some of his family, hear some of the stories, and then we sat outside and continued on. Our next stop was Los Rios Rancho, where we browsed the shop and sat outside and enjoyed the view. Next on our agenda was the Wildlands Conservancy. There's a beautiful trail there you can walk, which takes you past all the beautiful trees and the wildflowers and of course apple orchards, even redwoods. And of course, this funny little character who showed us just how the woodpecker got his name. This walk along the ponds was so beautiful and we definitely want to come back in the fall and see it in all its color. There's so much left to do. Thanks for coming along and join us next time.